All right, welcome to the Brain Joe virtual classroom for the tap walkthrough for the song Rocky Top. So uh, uh, if anybody uh, tr tried to attend earlier, I apologize that YouTube's live streaming was down for a bit today, but it is back up. So now we will do the uh, tab walkthrough for Rocky Top. And for those who are members of the Breakthrough Banjo course, that will also be followed by uh, the walkthrough for Big Rock Candy Mountain uh, on inside the Brain Joe Virtual Classroom in the course. Um, all right, so let's begin by uh, I'm going to just play a demonstration of uh, this song from one of the prior uh, Song of the Weeks episodes, and so that you know how this particular arrangement uh, for Rocky Top um, is going to sound. All right, so let me pull that up. <clears throat> Wish that I was on a rocky top down in the Tennessee hills. Ain't no smoggy smoke on rocky top, ain't no telephone bills. Once I had a girl on rocky top, half man, the other half cat. Wild as a mink, but sweet as soda pop. the uh, song Rocky Top, uh, one that was requested many times before I did it as a, as a uh, song of the week. Um, and uh, just as a reminder, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you can get the tab uh, for this song. The link is uh, in the video description. Um, and uh, if you are a member of the Breakthrough Banjo course, this is one of the many songs inside of the vault. Um, <clears throat> Also, uh, in the link to the video description, uh, in the I mean, in the uh, video description 
uh, you'll find some other uh, links that are worth um, looking into, uh, including the uh, link to the article on how I recommend learning new songs from Tablature to help uh, so that you can learn it without undermining your ability to ultimately play things uh, by ear. And also, if you enjoy these tab walkthrough videos, hit the uh, thumbs up icon on YouTube. Uh, let me know, and I will continue to put these out there. Okay, so I think that's that. Oh, one more thing, just as a reminder, if you have any questions as I'm running through this, feel free to ask them uh, in the live chat, and I will check there periodically. Okay, so now um, let me move to the tab view. I will cut off my head, and we will begin working through the tab for the solo. So I'm going to play this, the solo um, part that I play to sort of in the breaks that you heard on that demonstration version. Um, so uh, I'll play, uh, this will actually be a break for the verse and chorus on that demonstration I did a few times. I just did a break that just comprised the verse, but uh, for this I will go through a, uh, the full break for the verse and the chorus. All right, so um, first things first, actually, let me move back and just, uh, I'll take that view out. Let's just first get in tune. So uh, we're going to be uh, gonna be playing in standard G tuning. So we have D on the fourth string, G on the third, B on the second, D on the first, and a G on the fifth string. So we're playing this in the key of G. All right. So if you uh, recall, the song uh, starts out, this is, remember we're gonna play the verse first as this first as this um, initial solo part. So, wish that I was on a rocky top. So we're gonna start with a slide, second fret of the second string to the third fret of the second string. Right. And then holding down that third fret, play a brush thumb. And then again, play that uh, second string. Uh, you might note there that the, second the, that the second string at the third fret is the same as the open first string, so you could actually strike either string and you're gonna get the same note. So, and then, if I'll, and then it concludes with a brush thumb. So that whole first measure, And remember that I'm going to use this uh, little blue uh, square to indicate what measure I'm on. So we're gonna move to the next measure. We're gonna do the exact same thing. That's what the melody is doing there. So we're just doing that same thing twice in a row. Now. We're changing to a C chord here. So we're gonna play, uh, so we have our index on the first fret of the second string, middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and we're actually gonna start this measure by hammering on uh, to the uh, second fret of the first string. So basically play the open first string and then hammer onto that C chord. <clears throat> and then play a brush thumb. And then play that first string again, followed by a brush thumb. So that whole measure. Now we have Rocky Tom. <clears throat> so we're gonna play open first string, followed by a drop thumb to the open second. And then we're gonna skip the next stroke and play a thumb on the fifth. So those first, that first half of that measure. And there, the reason for doing that drop thumb and skip stroke is to syncopate that melody note as you might sing it. Rocky top, Rocky top. You could do Rocky top, but folks don't tend to sing it that way. So to get that to get that uh, same sound by playing it on the banjo, we play that second note with the drop thumb to syncopate it. And then we're gonna play the open third followed by brush thumb. that 
whole measure. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. All right, <clears throat> moving on. We're gonna move to an E minor chord. And again, we're gonna hammer onto it uh, by striking the fourth string open and then hammer, and then uh, bringing our fingers down to that E minor chord. Middle finger, four, second fret of the fourth string, ring finger, second fret of the first string. And then play brush thumb. And then open third. And then fourth string, fifth string. Just keeping our fingers on that E minor chord. That's the only thing we do with our left hand. Now we move to a D major chord. We're gonna play the partial D, which is second fret of the third string with index, um, ring finger on third fret of the second string. And again, we're gonna hammer on to that chord by starting with the open third string and then hammering and then hammering onto that partial chord shape. And then a brush thumb, and then third string brush thumb. So very similar to the last measure. All right, now we're gonna release. We're going back to a G major chord. So open strings of the banjo. Play the open second followed by brush thumb. And then we have another skip stroke followed by a drop thumb on the open third. And then a pull off second fret of the fourth string to the open fourth. And it's just a little fill there. So that whole measure. Again. If we wanted to sound that note instead of skipping it, it would sound like this. And then we're just gonna end simply with the third string followed by a brush thumb twice in a row. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. And the vocal melody there, down in the Tennessee hills. Now, if we were going the first time through this song, as indicated there, we would play, we would go back to the beginning and start over, and then come uh, to this and play sort of half of this, uh, what you see at the top here, and then we would come to the second time through. Ain't no smoggy smoke, ain't no telephone bills. And then we'd move into the chorus. So this is what we'd play in the last two measures uh, of the, of the uh, verse the second time through. So we're gonna start with the open third, followed by a brush thumb. And then another little fill here. I'm just gonna hammer on to the fourth strings at the sec from the open to the second fret. And then brush and, and pull off. So that whole measure. All right. And then again, we're gonna do the same thing we did before to close out the verse. Open third, followed by brush thumb twice in a row. There. Now, we're gonna move so that would be the verse, and you could play that as a standalone break, uh, or you could play the full verse chorus, and that's what I'm gonna show you next, is the solo part for the chorus. Um, so that begins, again, on the E minor chord. So go ahead and finger that chord. Play the first string, followed by a brush thumb. So, Rocky Top, you'll always be. That's where we are in the song. So, Rocky. And then we're gonna play, after that brush thumb, we're gonna play the first string followed by a drop thumb to the open second. And then first string, fifth string. Again, just holding down that E minor chord. So that whole measure. And then we're gonna keep our middle finger in place and still just hammer on to that first string from the open to the second fret. Play brush thumb. And then play first string followed by brush thumb. So that whole measure. <clears throat> so everything at the top of the screen sounds like this.
first part. Rocky Town. about to go to always be and we're gonna switch chords to that same partial D chord again <clears throat> so fingering at the second and third on the second and third strings we're gonna play the open fourth I mean the open first string <clears throat> followed by brush thumb always. so open open first followed by brush thumb and then third string while we're fretting at the second fret followed by brush thumb so that whole measure. And then we're gonna go <clears throat> open first again, followed by brush thumb. We're gonna do that twice. And now, maybe the trickiest part of the song, we're going into an F chord. So uh, fully fingered chord, meaning you're gonna use all your fingers, uh, first fret of the second string with index, middle finger on second fret of the third string, ring on four, on third fret of the fourth string, pinky on third fret of the first string. And we're actually going to hammer on to that again, uh, playing starting with the open first. Home sweet home to me. That's where we are in the song. So hammer on, brush thumb, and then play that first string again now that we're fretting it at the third fret with our pinky, and then play a brush thumb after that. So that whole measure, And then, final measure up top, play the first string followed by a drop thumb to the second string while we're still fretting that F chord. And then a skip stroke to the fifth string. And then first string, I mean second string. And then um, release that when you play. Uh, when you play that last brush thumb, just release your pinky off that uh, first string. Kind of replicates more what the melody's doing in that part. So that whole measure. Okay, so everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. So we're going back to a C major chord. Let me pause for questions. All right. Back to the C major chord, hammering onto it again, uh, starting by playing the open first, and then brush thumb. And then we're going to play a little descending run. Uh, we're going to start with the first string, and then a drop thumb to the second string, still fingering the C chord. And then play the open third, followed by the fifth string. So that whole measure. And then play, uh, keeping the finger on the C chord, you're just gonna play first string followed by brush thumb twice in a row. Keeping our finger on the C chord, we're gonna, good old. That's where we are in the song. So we're gonna do that same hammer on on the first string from open to second fret. Keeping our other fingers in place, we're only just lifting our ring finger. So that's that measure, so. Hammer on, then brush thumb, then first string brush thumb again. And the next measure, we do the exact same thing. And so everything from the top of the screen sounds like this. We're, we're using a C chord the whole time. Key top next part of the melody so we're back to G chord open strings just like we did before with that little drop thumb to syncopate that note Rocky top so we're playing first string second string then a skip stroke to the fifth string and then open third and a brush thumb so this measure opens with a skip stroke and then bring the thumb to the open third brush thumb, and then open third brush thumb. So that whole measure. Rock 
Rocky Top, Tennessee. Now we're going to do the uh, uh, hammer on again uh, from the open fourth to the second fret of the fourth string, bringing our fingers into an E minor shape. And then brush thumb. And then third string. And then fourth string, fifth string. Next measure, we're going to do that same hammer on. We've done this before. Hammer on to that partial D shape from the open third string. And then a brush thumb. And then third string, brush thumb again. So that whole measure. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. So we're going to start C, we're going to recommend Tennessee. This is how we're starting this uh, part of the uh, this measure. So we're going to replicate that with a slide, second fret of the third string to the fourth fret of the third string, followed by brush thumb, and then a little descending fill, skip stroke, play the open third, and then with open third with a thumb. And then a pull off fourth fret, fourth string, second fret to the open fourth. So that whole measure. Now we got Rocky Top Tennessee. So open third followed by brush thumb. Open fourth followed by brush thumb. Now, uh, again, same thing where we're, we're going to hammer onto that E minor chord from the open fourth to the second fret of the fourth, followed by brush thumb, third string, and then fourth string, fifth string. We've seen this before. We've also seen this next measure before. Hammering on again to that deep partial D shape, starting with the open third, then a brush thumb, then third string again, followed by brush thumb. So. the song here or ending this run through the chorus C so open third followed by brush thumb and that's the last note of the chorus we just have a to fill out this measure so we're just gonna do that same fill we did earlier hammering on from the open fourth to the second fret of the fourth brush and and pull off and then close out with the open third now if you wanted to go back to the beginning you could just do, and then go back into the how we started it. And so on. Okay, so that is it for the walkthrough for Rocky Top for the verse and the chorus. Let me pause for, see if there are any questions. I don't think so. Um, let me... Let me let me see if I can zoom this out so I can play this um, whole thing from start to finish. Just do it slowly so you know how it should sound. Whoops, wrong way. All right, so I'm going to play through it one time, the verse and the chorus, as we just uh, ran through. And I'm just going to do it slowly. Let me just get the full view here so that I make sure I play it as it's tabbed out. There we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, starting with the uh, verse. Chorus. 
is Rocky Top. Uh, verse and chorus, classic song. And uh, I encourage you to either sing along yourself or find someone else who will sing it as you play. Uh, the um, tab download that's available does have a tablature for what uh, a suggested vocal backup as well, where we kind of simpl simplify just a little bit uh, what we play behind the voice. All right, thanks for watching, and I will uh, see you in the next uh, installment.